Hey guys, Shock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we have a great new update to a Samsung app that makes it much better. So let's dive in and see what's going on. I'm going to show you guys the old version and the new version so you can see the differences side by side. So the application we are talking about is the Reminders application. I'm going to launch the old version right here, and I'm going to go over here. I'm going to launch the new version, all right? And right off the bat, you can see a couple of differences. First and foremost, we do have the brand new tile view. As you can see, these tiles are reorganizable. So you can press and hold and move them around as you can see, and you can tap on all categories. You can see all your tiles, add new tiles or categories, but that's the new interface that makes things much more easy to see as opposed to this over here. If I do wanna see the tiles or the categories, I tap over here, and I have to go over here and then you'll see all the various categories. With this one, I tap here and I get to see all the categories in that tile format. One more thing that is brand new is when you tap on plus, okay, you are able to access the camera as you are making a reminder. With this one, you are able to access the gallery to add a photo. But with this one, when you tap on the same button, you have the option to take a fresh photo or select the image. So if you're doing a specific reminder at a specific location or for a specific task, you can quickly take a photo as you are creating your reminder. And by the way, if you need to update to the latest reminder application, there's gonna be a link down below, okay? Once you click that link, it's gonna take you to my website. And then what you can do is you can scroll down just a little bit and simply tap on the link under download. That is gonna take you to the Galaxy Store from where you can update to the latest reminder application. Now, I will let you know one thing. Here's a list of everything that is new. There's a lot of stuff going on, but I didn't mention all the good stuff. And I'll show you a little bit more. But I do wanna let you know, this update was released on October 23rd. It is 26 megabytes. The version is 12.5.00.30. And if you were to go back over here, you can see the old phone, the old version that I have on Samsung One UI 5.1 at the bottom is running, is also the latest version by the way, but it is 12.4.06.0. Now this appears to be making its appearance on One UI 6.0 devices, which is what I have here and this is a One UI 5.1 device. So just keep that in mind, but it may be available very soon on all One UI devices. It is not gonna be, as far as I know, an exclusive One UI 6.0 update. But let me cancel that. I'm gonna show you one more thing. So other thing that we have is if I pull this down, you can see I have a new way of looking at stuff right here. So these are my no alert reminders. Here's my no alert reminder. Now, if I go into a reminder and if I tap on star, it becomes my favorite and it shows up on the top right over here, okay? But you can see how they look very different. I think this one looks much nicer. There is this line here that separates each task and then when you are done with the task, you tap over here, over here, it's almost the same. Now, when you go to all categories, what you can do is you can see in the main screen, you have five tiles, okay, categories, but if you want to change, what you can do is you can grab, for example, I can get the kids and I can put it up here, okay? So anything that you want, any important category that you use all the time, you can just drag them, press and hold, and drag it over here. These should be your most important reminders, your most important to-do lists. Now, under what's new, there's a couple other things. Looks like you can now register reminders for past dates. You can register all day reminders as repeated reminders. So if I were to create a reminder here that is supposed to be all day like this, I can still repeat it. Now, over here, you can see when I tap on add time, I don't have that all day reminder option, but now I have it and I can also do repetition for all day reminders. And then we have a couple other cool things. You can pause and read right over here, but I did mention all the important ones that make a visual and also functional difference. Now, one more thing, if I go back here real quick, uh, tap over here and you can tap on view 
and you can do a card view as you can see okay over here I can tap on view and I can do list view so look at this I have the list and then I have the uh, card view which is just a little bit different I still like this one a little bit better it is more compact but I do like the fact that over here I can see the full photo on this one you go inside and you have to tap on it to see the actual photo on this one the photo is usually available at that size so maybe they can fix that with the next update all right that's it any questions comments or concerns drop them down below let me know for now guys have a fantastic day